something. Shakshuka is what it's called, guys. It's a shakshuka. I'm about to make a shakshuka. Decadency's take on a shakshuka. Take one. So, a few of my subscribers said they wanted to see me wearing what I love wearing, what I look good in, my signature looks. So here I am, honeys. Here I am. Giving y'all what y'all wanted. <laughs> but if like any of these things splatter onto my tummy, woo, guys, like I'm not gonna be wearing this again. But yeah, I love crop tops. I am enjoying my body while I still have it, you know. But the day it goes, little ampona, nama hoodie, jacket, <laughs> covering it all up. <laughs> anyway, someone is probably on some. Wait, hold up, hold up. Where are you? Why are you in a different kitchen, guys? Ikishili pomile, put John. Kelo ufunelo baba lo electric. Ikishi iya bomba. La la paka kama plaka la plaka o kona micro micro oven niska ni ni nama fridge. Kia isiatela. Singa shon. So you know I'm now in a different kitchen. I'm joking, guys. The kitchen iya bomba. Today I'll be making a shakshuka. Shakshuka is basically a gravy, ne? That has Russian or sausages, Russian sausages, sausages, and eggs all up in one pot. It's a really cute dish, you know, something to impress your guests. If you have someone over, you don't want to make them like bread, burrito. You don't want to make them bread and just like eggs, you know, and konjo, what's that thing? Bacon, you know, you want to make it fancy, man. Of course, you want to impress them. This is what you should make a shakshuka. I'm just going to give it a twist off. To the left, left, Woo. to the left, I have my basil, you know, I'm saving this for garnishing, Jay. but to the right, I have a handful of the same basil, just chopped up, uh, half an onion, chopped up as well, no need to practice, no knife skills, just chop it up, honey. If you want it big, go big. I just prefer it, you know, medium to small, yeah. Because I don't want to be having like chunks of onion in my mouth. Next thing I'll be like, hello, Helen, my name is Helen. And like, you can cut you. No, I don't want that. <laughs> then I have curry paste. This is going to be, you know, the flavonoid for this dish. Then I have my diced up tomatoes. If you want to use like um, a whole tomato, you can do that. You can use maybe like four or five. Just grate them nice and thin. I just, you know, want to be that lazy person today who's just going to use up the canned ones. I have some bangers. I have my eggs. I'm going to need, I, I'm, you know, I don't know. You can put in three. It's all about, you know, how you want your dish to look. I want it to look beautiful, decadent. What's the other fancy words to make food look good? So let's see. Y'all get me, right? Mm -hmm. Then I have a bass, like white bread low you know if you want to if you want to go healthy you can do that i just you know wanna yeah it's unhealthy yes but in anti guys yo then i have some chopped up chili then i'm also going to use some coriander some garlic flakes and black pepper and olive oil for the frying so let's get cooking so i'm gonna start by pouring some olive oil onto my pan and then i'm gonna add the onions. Remember, this is the first time I'm making this, ne? There's gonna be a whole lot of flavor adjustments. If I feel like there's gonna, this is gonna need more seasoning, I'm gonna add some. Yar! Let's do this. <laughs> my oil is nice and heated, so I'm not gonna add my onions into the pan. Rebatla season, ne? So it must do that. That thing I love. There we go. It ain't much of a a sizzle sizzle but it's a sizzle so i'm happy i'm hungry so like i'm not gonna wait for this pan to be like super hot don't mind the bit of basil that's up in there it's gonna end up in there anyway so yeah i'm just gonna saute these maybe like two minutes and then i'm gonna add all of my seasoning and then i'm gonna go into the other ingredients that are gonna be all up in the hizzy 
Ja. Just gonna make. Ooh! I'm glad it didn't land on me. Gonna add my seasoning. Gonna need about a teaspoon of this. If you want, you could add more. I'm gonna taste. So if it's gonna need more, I'll add more. Then I will adjust the recipe and the ingredients and then I'm gonna put them in my description box. Gonna add some ginger flake. Garlic, 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 garlic. Garlic flakes. Oh my gosh. About a teaspoon. If you're not a fan of garlic, you can add less. You know, garlic adds that thing, man. It's like salt. Some black pepper. Grind some up in there. A teaspoon of the chili. If you're a fan of chili, you can add more. Naka it's have a chili, see guys. Woo! But you know, it adds that thing as well. Then I'm gonna add the curry paste. Um, hmm. Let's go with tea tea two teaspoons. Remember, it's the first time making this with you guys, ne? So, this is a pan beef. Gonna add two. Mm. The neighbors are probably thinking I'm making something mm, delicious that time. Karikari onions. That's all that's in the pot. Stir it up. My onions are beautiful. Nicely sweat. It's sweated a weird. Oh my gosh. English! Why are you doing this? So I sweat my onions. They are beautiful. Gonna add the tomatoes. Woo! Ngang tail. There you go. That to the side. Let me sit on that. I feel like my pot will burn. Gosh, I got this easy gravy, guys. Easy gravy. This is fire easy. You must cook this on medium heat, ne? But if you feel like your dish is going to burn, you can take it lower. Don't cook it on high heat, because it will definitely burn. Gonna grab my bangers. Gonna go rinse them up and then add them into the pot. My gravy is coming up well. Gonna add my bangers now and let them cook for about five to seven minutes. Place them up in there, nice and cute. Let's try and make it cute. Yeah, actually, I can. Mm. Woo! Needed a bigger pot for this, but let's do this, guys. Yeah. So I'm gonna cover this up just to speed up the cooking process. Yeah, the bangers. I actually left these Ooh! I left these to cook for like 10 minutes cuz yeah, this thing is hot. Ooh! I left these to cook for like 10 minutes cuz I don't want no raw pork. I'm going to take off maybe like two to make space for the eggs. Ma, you know what? Let me take them all out so I can add starting to catch oh my gosh so i actually need to be quick because i don't want this to dry up so i'm just gonna take these all out oh my gosh my shakshuka is bending key yo just stir this up <laughs> yo 
kai pu chon ka kichi kyo ya pom oh gosh gonna add half of this basil i'm gonna use the other half after adding the eggs yo baguette shakshuka honey don't burn so i'm gonna put back some of these just a few actually let me add a bit of water so that you know you're best watching it just just a little bit of water just a little yeah i think that's enough stir it up because it was starting to dry out so it means you must cook this for like less time yeah that is much better doesn't look dry gonna put back the bangers still making it look cute and making space for the eggs i'm gonna put one egg in here one here one here i think yeah let's leave it at five five bangers in the pot yeah then i'm gonna add my eggs just break it up Ooh. so like basically poaching these eggs in a different way you know not using the way that every the method that everyone knows yeah you know water actually poaching them within the gravy gonna close it up again just so that you know the eggs can get all that steam and cook up mm, trying to think let me add some salt first then close the pot again then we're gonna wait for like maybe two minutes then check two minutes is actually a lot I'm gonna check this every minute to make sure that the eggs don't burn. Yeah. Remember, this is the first time making this, right? So I have to get this right. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. I'm not gonna be opening this with my bare hands, but voila! My shakshuka! My shakshuka! This dish is all about presentation guys like i feel like i could eat it from this pot i don't want to stir i don't want to do anything to it it looks so cute everything is practically cooked so i'm just gonna turn this off then the remaining basil you know just sprinkle some over nice and cute ne? don't forget that you gotta eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth just you know a little huh And we are done. I'm so hungry, so very hungry. I've got a H U N gray down in my tummy. Way down in my tummy. Way. Okay, let's eat. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm done, guys. So I'm going to, you know, present this nice. Just clean this pot up, butter my bread. No, actually, I don't want butter my bread, but yeah, I'm gonna make this all cute. Yeah, indulge. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Yeah, and actually, you could tell me what you would like to see me cooking. Bye. Whew. Okay, I'm actually very hungry.